So as we're dealing with this garage here, so the plan is to move this. So they did all the prep work by jacking it up, putting some braces in it to keep it square. Looks like they did a really nice job on that. And the plan is to use those two skid steers and just carry this somewhere else. <laughs>
right, so that went pretty well. We got that moved. So the plan is a new slab is getting poured for that over there. So I'm gonna come back and help him do that. Cody, what's up? What's up? And in the meantime, we're gonna get these, he's building an addition where these windows are gonna go in. So we'll, uh, we'll see that as well. back here a couple months later I mean this guy's got a lot of stuff going on they're renovating that whole house getting ready to put windows in but right now I'm just doing a little digging for the retaining wall over here Cody, what do you straight. think? We can lay a footer in here now. All right. Throw our gravel first.
couldn't make it up the driveway this time. I made it with the B50 just barely. It took two shots. It's easy when there's no weight on it. It? Yeah. I'm holding it. Put the throttle up. Alright, not all the way. Middle? Right there. Okay. Middle. Alright.
All right, back here months later, and the plan is to, they just poured this wall. I'm trying to dig out this tree, because we're realizing it's right in front of the garage. later and we're getting ready to pour the foundation for this.
It does grade, right? Yeah. Have you tried that? No. I've only ever just wanted to make things flat. So. Okay. The way this works, that over there is projecting a level beam, and then this picks it up, and then you can catch it, and it will tell you up or down where level is. Okay. If you walk around with this the way it's set now and just make everything the same yeah. within this box we just made. Okay, so I still, I need to come up that much. Okay. A new height so it has to be that everywhere Let's figure out the math for right angle triangle. 322.8 should be diagonal. 322.8, go to, to there. Ooh, I got 27 two inches. Oh, oh, this tape measure is confusing. Um, 27 two inches. So what's 27 times 12? So that's 324. Go 26 feet, 10 inches. Yeah, make move the box to, so that number works. Work. Okay. Okay, now let's let's check the other corners. It should be the same number. Yeah, but how, yeah, I'm 26, 10 and a half. Okay, let's now let's check it. Let's check it this way now. 26, 10 and a half. 26, 10 and a half both ways.
two days later here they just laid in the plastic vapor barrier and the rebar cody what do you think
next Andrew? Yeah, I got it. Still. Okay. The injury is there. Depot. Let me return this board tonight. Yep. Gently used, barely screened, one owner, low miles. Oh, Don't lowball me. This I know incredible. Hey, Andrew, get right there. There you go. Back it up. Yeah, yeah right here, Andrew. See the spot? No, you push, push where it's low, not, not where it's good. So yeah, only where it's low. I should have wet it up a little bit more. Yeah, yeah a little low here too. Yeah. All up in here. Yeah. Or by me. Look at this driver, this guy helping us finish the concrete. How sweet is that? I'm gonna pour a slab in my barn. Gotta jack it up first.
Look at you running back. Oh.
right, so we just finished moving this. It got a little banged up, but I mean, that's not bad. So now like the walls can be, you know, crowbarred right into exactly where they need to go and bolted down. These supports can come out, fix anything that's messed up. Um, you know, but overall it's on the slab. You know, just measure exactly where things need to land. Wear up the building. That's the biggest, yeah. the biggest thing. It's so much easier with the, having the slab for everything to land on because that's square and level. Spring 23 right now. Let's see how fast we get it done. How fast this gets done. Blue. Right, here I am back a couple months later and this is the finished kind of project this is that burnt siding where that's actually a really bug proof weatherproof finished that looks nice up in there he's got a nice standing seam roof on this that looks good but he's still got some work to do here but the plan is to make this into a sauna so it's you know in a nice spot here with this view probably clear out a few more trees right here all right Cody what do you think and this is actually two and a half years later than from when we moved this thing because he had a lot of other stuff going on in the two and a half years since we moved that building this house got an entire renovation and this whole garage got built which he's still working on that but you know that's a pretty good sized garage here with the three bays that's an extra wide bay this is where that shed was originally, but this whole area got brought up quite a bit. This is that wall that I dug with the Yanmar. So there that is all done. I think they're gonna do some more work in here to make this area much more landscaped. And here is that propane tank I buried. You know, I still feel this could use a little more earth on top of it. I wouldn't consider that completely done, but oh well.